Welcome back to Chatman's Me and Jin Hall. Today we're gonna take a look at a new release from Atlas Model Railroad or these guy here. The TTX uh, box cars. So I didn't get two. I got four of these guys. So I got four of them because this is the first run that they did, and I gotta have me gotta check it out and see the details and how it compares to the uh, prototype. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I was telling you that I had it like with three or four of them, but you know, in post editing here, I put the whole run. So here it is. What can I say? I, I, I like big yellow box cars. So let's continue with the video. We selected the 66444. We will unbox it. Now you can see the box here. Usual master line box here, red and black. Always good for storage. Let's pop this open here. Inside, you get your usual hair, I believe, is your. Uh, is it? The warranty card, and I believe these your uh, more information here about the car itself. I don't know. Yep, limited warranty information. So it doesn't have a exploded parts here in the box. So just open up the packaging, clamshell style. Got the soft wrapping the model and I'll take the model out. All right, no broken pieces inside. That's just good. Car outside the packaging. Let's take a look at the uh, details and the writing up close and the zoom in here. There we go. Let's take a look at our writing. That's good. That's crisp. Men's bleeding. Everything can be seen on the magnification. Information about the car. Now I'm going to check out the uh, BN of the car. Everything looks good there. Everything looks good here. Here we have the bottle compared to the prototype here. We got the TBOX 66444. Uh, we go off the back, we're gonna take a look at the TTX here, little in red there, with the brown that looks uh, pretty be good there. Now for color, it, is, it varies because, you know, um, the yellow, it can be many shades of yellow, but you know, it's very subjective to the person. So we are gonna say it's a, a close match for me. All right. So anyway, let's keep on going here. We got the uh, the rail car pulling experts. Got that written here on the uh, side there. Try to turn it this way. And we kind of see the R on the uh, ribbon there. Look at the right spot. The E is on a ribbon also. Let's see. There's nothing here but a little L, which is there. Part of LP on the side that appears to be correct there. And the L on the ribbon. And it looks good if you face the world card like this compared to a prototype. All right, coming on down here, let's zoom in. Let's see, we got the information here on the uh, car. Appears to be in the correct uh, location here, but we'll take photos close up on the model compared to this uh, prototype there in a moment there. And you see our uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, appears to be correct there on this car. Then we can come down here to... Uh, this yellow label here on the car, Gunderson, more information on the car, and some uh, jacking pads here. All right, got four rivets, you got four rivets there, and they got the XGH161B, and they got it right here. Uh, trucks could be a get a little blue cap there for the, um, this type of price for this model. I should at least get the stenciling here on the trucks, but it's my opinion. Come across there, the ladder got a full rung ladder. And here, but I will say about this particular model, you gotta be very careful when the derailment, snap these stirrups right off. All right, come up here. Now you got the excessive height car, which is here. Oops, which is here on the model. Road name, road numbers there. Then you got the information, springs, the wheel, and the brake information. Spring wheel brake information appears to be the 
correct location. Now you got this uh, horizontal grab bar in here. It appears to be correct here on the uh, model. And you got the little small little uh, steps here. So we got one, two, three. One, two, three is good. All righty. On the side, you do have a cut lever here. It's also here on the model. It was yellow. Well, we can paint that white if we can get real uh, technical with it. And you got your etched metal walkway, which is uh, here on the uh, model. Now, in this model, see, under here, you're not going to really see on the body detail on the prototype, except for uh, little details like this. It's really not on uh, the car, but it does have the uh, arrow pointing down, as it does here on the prototype. All right, coming over here to the side of the box car. Got the any load any road appears in the correct locations. We got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you just uh, door stoppers here appears in the correct location. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the short one as it appears there on the prototype. Let's get from here. Let's keep going down the car. Then you see the road name, road number, road name, road, road number. Plate F is here on top of the fours. Appears to be in the correct location. Um, so we get in here on these, uh, information here, but we can't see it'll, it'll get blurred out, but we can come here on the door itself. There you have the information appears to be the correct information on the door. On the left hand side, you got the open and close here. That's good. You got the label information here on the side of the car, but that little orange one is not on the car. Come on to the right side of the door. Same information, um, security. Um, block here, information is on the car. Da da da, it's good there. And that's pretty much every, all the information that's on this uh, car is actually on the prototype, so it's pretty good. But, um, you know, it's very subjective here because you see this picture was taken in um, 2023. Uh, this car, so some labeling has um, changed, like you see here, that it has the uh, black and white um, blue board here on the model, it doesn't. But we go back to the picture we saw. This one was back in 2016 where it does not have it. Also, this um, car also does have, got to point this out, that they have the reflecting tape here on the car as it would be on a prototype in 2016. Brand, I pair this to be brand new out the factory. And the model uh, does reflect that. Also, um, just going back for a little bit more. Um, point out the other reflecting tapes here are on the ribs here on the car also. And checking out another car and the number series is the 664439. But of course you got the 664444. Anyway, also got this uh, road name, road number is also available. Now I'm uh, looking, uh, comparing this uh, model to this uh, prototype, pretty much the same uh, built. It's to get a spring information, will, and a break. Spring information, will, and break. Appears in the correct location. You got the horizontal grab on here, the long one. The handbrake appears to be the correct, appropriate one here. With a little more detail on this here. It's pretty good. Now you got your chain detail. And you got your etch metal here. Walkways as it would as a prototype. And, of course, you have our little short lattice here on the end of the car. On the prototype here, they have a long jaw bar. And uh, a shelf couple, so it appears to be a pretty good accurate car. Got the six, the six six four two six three here pulled up roll archives, and we could take a look. This is back in two thousand and sixteen, but it's a nice shot. But you uh, you can tell here that something's a little different about this car. That this has a Kansas City Southern, a uh, Mexico on the any road any road logo. But not sure why, but you know, it has to be a cool project to do to uh, match the prototype. But everything, as far as the name, the detail, where the logo is at, and reflecting stripes, even the rivets on the car, door stoppers, and this little detail here, actually on the model also. Not sure what it is, but it is definitely there. And also, you can see here that this door has the reflecting tape on uh, vertical on the car. And pretty much... It's a good representation of the prototype that we have as models. Right here in our ESU foam pad here. And we're going to do a little upgrade to these cars. You know, we do like the detail that come with, but you know what? We can add a little bit something better. So here, I'm using some uh, small scale innovations here. 
uh, the FRA uh, two two four safety stripes here. All right, good for 100 cars. Let's look like here in the back of the packaging. They give a little uh, instructions here, but that's what I'm using. It fits perfectly on top of the existing. You can see it there, FRA stripes. So uh, let's do a little update in here. like that you see that those strips here fits on the top of the ones that come to car perfectly I'll do a little, a little bit of adjustment here and there to put it in place but all in all it is a good product and it makes this car looks a little bit more realistic in my opinion change out the couplers here now the couplers come with uh, a metal coupler here which is fine for our operations but I um, want to make a little bit more prototypical so you have two options now this was advertised with a long draw ahead with the bottom shift coupler but it didn't come with that it came with this guy here but you know no one makes a long draw ahead with a bottom shift coupler so we're gonna make do what we have so um half the car is gonna get this kd 150 uh six this is a long draw ahead here but it doesn't have the bottom shelf um, and six of them get this uh, KD-119 here. A medium center shank with a bottom shelf. So you had to cut the top shelf off for what I did. And you can see here on the cars that I did with the 119s is right here. You can see close up 119s here. And I did the wheels too. So while we got our nice foam ESU cradle here, so let's flip this over. And what's great about this ESU cradle is that the car just fits right in so it doesn't snag on the door detail and it's uh, perfect for this uh, project. And it's about the ESU, just drop on the magnetic strip there and holds that screw in place. Now what I find here that you can just uh, pop this up here like so you gotta be careful on the stirrups and sometimes the little cut lever does a break away but sometimes I find myself uh, cutting it off and just pushing it back on like a pressure fit and you can see uh, that was glued into a uh, place here so let's get that out of here do this I'm gonna go ahead and cut the trip pin off like so. All right. Clean cut. All right. Looks good. Now let's reinstall this coupler into the coupler box. And you see inside here, that is where the coupler sits into. And you just put your plate on top of that and have two slots where these two holes go into. Just made them back together. All right, well, we got it in there. And do this turn upside down. Place the couple of box back onto the coral body. 
And don't forget about this uh, cut lever here. Just lift it up so that's one less thing that I get broken off when you're in your car. So sit it back on one. Push everything down, all this fits back up. And you can come in, grab your screwdriver and start reassembling this side of your car. And you take your uh, wheel set. So now if your wheel set's off already and you wanna add that blue bearing cap, which I, I do on my models, And this should be the end result when you do that here with that uh, blue wheel cap. Some of these cars you can find online so you can compare them to the prototype if you'd like to do that. But also you can find these cars at uh, yankeedowler.com and they got on their website for 44 99 but you do that five percent engine haul discount cool you get five percent off um your items so uh that's a little uh, little savings there in your pockets and stuff and they get a good uh looking car remember it's the first cars that the atlas did in this uh, kind and those looks pretty good but also i did grab the bnsf one also off their uh, recent release then here check out the detail on this guy here Looks pretty good. Oop. Took a look at the A in the car. Looks solid. I like I got a reflector take there already on there. Apply so we ain't gotta do much. And here's the B at the end of the car. Everything's legible there. Then you got the little oh, see. Now now this is my doing. This is not Atlas is mixed. I, I grabbed it. I say they're very, very, very thin. Gotta be very careful. Here's the other one on the other side. So I, I gotta glue the guy back on and, um, you know, be careful with your cars.